National Geographic. Technology isn't just expanding the reach of explorers. As National Geographic recently chronicled, it may be on the verge of doing something still more remarkable. I got my balance, I'm good. Frank Lamacchia lost the use of his legs in a devastating injury. Okay. But he held on to a hope that someday he would stand again on his own two feet. The life that you thought you had was taken from you. And the only thing you're thinking of is how am I going to get it back? And am I going to get it back? After 14 years of waiting, Frank may just shatter the boundaries of what's possible. He's a paraplegic who's never lost hope of walking again. I'm a T6 paraplegic. I was injured in a motorcycle accident uh, in December 6th of 1998 that left me paralyzed just below the chest down. I didn't accept the fact that he was hit, you know, by a, another person and he became a paraplegic. But Frankie has that will and desire to go forward. He has that inner strength. There's always a hope in my heart that some way through science, technology, that I won't be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Today, that hope may be answered. Frank is getting strapped into a battery-powered bionic device. If it works, his dream will come true. And Frank will be able to stand and walk. Fantastic. Dr. Guy Freed has worked on Frank's rehabilitation since the accident. Today is an absolute milestone for Frank. It's a milestone for me that today is the first time that Frank will be able to take his first step. So the technology has finally met the body. The plan is for Frank to use the walker as he relearns how to move on his feet. The therapist will push a button that activates sensors throughout the leg brace, which lift and bend the knee to let Frank step forward. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> That's just amazing. All right, verify battery level, verify tether. We're ready for this. I'm ready to take flight. And stand leaning forward. Push, 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 push. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> First, Frank must make sure he can position his feet to support himself and maintain his balance. But after being in a wheelchair for more than a decade, it's not easy. Let yourself come forward a little bit. Rush it. Shift. For the first time in years, Frank has pulled himself upright. OK, now try to find that balance point right in the center. Got it. Perfect. I got this. He finds his footing for the moment. Feels great. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. Just being vertical is intoxicating. Feels good. People with disabilities, people in wheelchairs, we're constantly looking up, you know? There's just something about standing, too. When you stand, you feel like who you are. Now comes the hard part. Ready to walk? I'm ready. Push through your hand. Step in right. OK. Wow. Good. So, OK. Now we're going to shift to the right and then forward. Step left. Walk. Step. 14 years Good. no walking, you're natural. <laughs> Step. I'm in the rhythm. Here we go. Got it. Oh, got it. There we go. Feels good. Step by step, Frank walks again. I got this. That's a superhero we need. Yeah. I'm looking for you to fly at this point. This for is real. insane. We're reaching the stars right now. It's very overwhelming. And as a mother, it's going to make me feel like my boy is whole again. As impressive as this bionic suit is, Dr. Free believes that soon they'll be even better. That one day, Frank will be able to wear one full time. What we're doing today is the Flintstones compared to what we're going to be doing next year, the year afterwards. This technology will get smaller, lighter. He'll be able to walk upstairs, where he'll be able to run. He'll be able to take care of himself. Give him a kiss, give him a kiss. Eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> It just feels really good that I'm going to be actually a, somewhat of a pioneer. It brings hope to others that if I can do it, so can they. And they, they will do it. Frank is just part of a whole wave of experimentation that merges man and machine. 
he's getting his legs back. 